Hey guys, this is Ayn Fari Marie here, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of Vector, who I got a few days ago, and I've just been kind of messing around with the SDK a little bit. So I'm just going to show you a few of like the apps that he has for the SDK, and maybe, and then also the rainbow eyes trick that somebody posted a few days ago, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'll just get started by turning him on real quick and then connecting the SDK. So yeah, even the refresh lines are going to look terrible. Here's where I have it saved here, and I'm going to open the SDK file like that. It looks like... Oh, so I have to CD it because I'm dumb. Well, he boots up quick. So the first I'm going to show is the three, not the three, I'll probably think the remote control is a pretty easy one to do. So it's under these examples, it's remote control.py. So I'll change that directory real quick if he doesn't start exploring right away. CD. Then you run the py remote control. Why? And starts to authenticate and connect to him. So he's kind of looking here. And then, so here's the remote control app. This is what, this is currently what his camera is looking at, which is the side of my laptop and also a window. But here are the different movements that he has. So I can play different animations like blackjack win if I press one. And then pounce success. If I press two, that's what it'll play. Then you can see the camera feed here, and then I can click T to move the head up and down, and G to move it down like this. And his camera feed changes based on that, and you can see he's looking at me right now. And then I can use a WASD to move him backwards or forwards like that. Just turns him. It's just like remote control. It's just like remote controlling a video game with similar controls there. Dizzy Cosmo. The vector. I always kind of get them confused. But then another thing that I think is kind of funny is that you can type in anything like stupid in the space here, and it'll say it. So I'll say. I'm like, I'll type something dumb, like, I'm Microsoft Sam. Throw that in, click out. If I click space, I'm Microsoft Sam. It'll say it, which is pretty funny. So if I can get him to say, also it's. Thing. This is like dumb, no, it's just dumb random thing. It's kind of reminds me of the AEP on Ivo's a little bit. Should I say smelly, smelly cat? And I type that in. Smelly, smelly CSD. Oops. <laughs> I meant to spell cat. Can't type with one hand very well, obviously. Oops. So we can just say random crap like that, and then I can make move the lift down with the RF keys. So you can see it can move up, down like this, and it'll kind of also show it on the camera feed. And then okay, anim volume stage zero five. So I can just do some different more animations, like his angry animation, <laughs> reactive face. And if I click six, and it. it and it has a whole bunch of different animations I can do here, so this one will look interesting. Duck, like, yeah, there's a crap ton of these. Cube connection, dance beat. If only I could get the dance to work. I haven't been successful in that yet, but I will get it going. But he does different dances in the music, which is pretty cute. I just haven't gotten working very well yet. Then if I, let me try another one. Reaction. I don't even know what a lot of these. I think these are just a bunch of different 
actions he has that are probably on the app. I think it's eye pose, easily funny. Smell this makes that's his grumpy face. I pose bliss. That's his that's his happy face. So he's just like trying different eye poses that he has, which is kind of fun. Angry, asleep, curious. Guys, he's he's very expressive, which I think that's really fun about this robot. And then what else is a good one here? Bad robot. That's funny. Oh, he's so sad. Even though I'm not actually, like, I don't think he's actually has any, like, emotional feedback. So this is all just 100%. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think this is just, like, doing the stuff itself, the animations itself, rather than him actually reacting to anything. Because it's 100% remote control mode. Try to turn him face here. Now he's looking at my sweatshirt again. I'll have to try all these different animations, which just looks like there's probably there's a ton of them that'd be longer than I'm willing to probably want to make in like a decently long video, but I'll definitely try good ones later and try to see which turtle roll. Huh. So that's kinda of what he does when he reacts to a cliff, I think. And then he backs up, which is pretty funny. But there's a ton of different animations you can go through. You can make him say different things so it's like a, it's a pretty fun app to mess around with this is one of the first sdk example apps that i've used and then there's actually several more that i will probably post later but anyway if you have a vector be sure to use the sdk and different programs because they're a ton of fun and i'm sure i'll have more coming up but if you want to see more vector be sure to like and subscribe